Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. Today's job is to bore out this vein pump housing. Um, this is a vacuum pump for a uh, milking machine. So this is a brand new job, brand new customer. Uh, this job used to go to a shop far away and the owner retired and so now they need a new place to do it and my name came up, so here it is. Um, we're gonna set this up in the boring mill, be the quickest and easiest way, and we're just gonna take a light cut with our boring head. Um, we'll set it, indicate it in, set it up, and then take a nice, uh, probably five thou to start with. We don't need to take much. jobs. We just started dialing it in, I got a ways to go. Um, but what we're using is a coaxial centering indicator. This is a very inexpensive Chinese tool, um, works great. So a topic of discussion that I've heard quite a bit, uh, lots of questions and lots of comments about it on other channels as well, is with the Morse taper on your boring mill, how do you hold the tooling in? Well, this little device here I made as a copy of the one that uh, the previous owner of this mill had and he wouldn't give up. But this is a boring mill key. This one works on a simple pro principle of, there's a wedge in here that pulls and it extends this piece. Very simple, very effective.
So we've gotten into the middle and we're not taking any more. It uh, quit cutting. So that tells me there's a little bit of a, a dip in there. So I'm gonna back it back out. I'm gonna take two more thou on my boring head. I'm just taking a light passes. I'm all I'm trying to do is get this thing cleaned up. That's, I don't wanna take any more than I absolutely have to. So we'll just take light passes till we get through. And I'm feeding at five thousandths per revolution. So our first pass is done and it actually looks pretty good. Um, a little bit of chatter there, but uh, I'll slow the spindle down some more and we'll just take a another couple thou and probably clean that right up. But it looks like I got all the low spots, all the divots. Uh, there's a little spot there, but that'll come out with a couple thou. So we'll uh, take a little more, slow the spindle down and finish this off. In all total, we took eight thousandths out of the inside diameter. This pump will have a long life ahead of it and, and can probably be bored out and rebuilt a few more times um, just by that. Setup is the most time consuming of any job you're gonna do on the boring mill. But they're a great machine, very versatile, and have a permanent place in the manual only machine shop. So until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. <laughs>